prisoners. Now he has to worry about things like Bradley Beal and signing him to an extension. Mm. Yeah. That's Shout out Javaris true. Crittenton, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Gotta Javaris love numbers. Crittenton. He also That's gotta love the cameo we just saw when we were showing the footage from Pat's camp. Yeah, Thank Winnow. you so much. Will Chase Winovich with the long hair. Now Great there was though. a lot going on on Twitter on Instagram Shrags where Winnow said, Maybe I need a haircut. And Tom Brady commented, That's the first thing I thought of. Hey. First thing I thought of when we drafted you. But he's still rocking <laughs> those long Michigan locks. That's that. so dope. Man. It looks glorious. Do you not cut the hair. Looks like he could be a big little lies. Look at this. Don't Incredible. cut it. Stunt them. All right, time for a segment that we like to call shoulda, woulda, coulda. I have right. questions for you guys. Each starting with should, would, or could. So let's get started with the rookies like Chase Winovich. They're scheduled to report to training camp today for the Raiders on the other side of the country. And with this being the last season they play there in the Bay Area, the Raiders are hoping the addition of superstar wideout Antonio Brown makes their last season a memorable one. So should, using your Microsoft surfaces, should the AFC West fear this, this Raiders squad this year? Mob first. I'm going to say no. All right, Mike. Yeah, no, 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 no. Simply because they have loads of talent. The Oakland Raiders always have loads of talent, right? I do think John, uh, John Gruden had uh, the quarterback, Derek Carr, doing too much at the line of scrimmage. And um, I'm not sure if Antonio Brown is concerned with winning more than his bank account. His mm. bank account is always Ooh. fat, so it's all good. But his business is always booming. Um, but I'm not sure wins will follow that, and I'm not sure that John Gruden can develop talent. Most of the time that, he, that he's had success, he's already had the talent there, a Super Bowl team there, and he was the difference. So I would say no. Yeah, I, I'm with Mike on this one. I'm going to say no as well, and the reason isn't so much about the Raiders. It's more about the other three teams yeah. in the division. If you're the Chiefs, you're coming off an AFC championship berth. I'm scared of the Raiders and this mishmashed roster who are a lame duck franchise in, La in this team before they go to Las Vegas. If you're the Broncos, we got this new defense, new coach, and then, of course, if you are the L.A. Chargers, you're loaded as well. The Raiders, they haven't been anything the last couple of years. So I'd say, no, I'm not scared of the Raiders. They can still be very good and they can be a formidable team. Yep. But fearful? Get out of here. I agree. Okay. This char they're both 12 and 4 teams. Chiefs, Chargers, they're not afraid of anybody. I I'm going to say yes, though. I, I mean, they, they have incognito and perfect. I'm terrified of them. Of course, yes, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, and, Mike, you hit on the head. I think what scares teams is just talent. Like, talent is – and, Peter – it doesn't matter what stadium they're playing in, where they're going next year, whatever. When they line up and it's third and 12 and they start lighting it up with these new receivers and the rookie running back, I'll put it to you this way. If they can't light it up on offense this year, either Gruden can't coach or Carr can't play. So if one of those is true, I think they'll light it up. I think they have the talent to light things go. Get things you can go. play along at home at hashtag GMFB. Let's talk Tom Brady now for the first time in his career. He will be entering a contract year. This very season, our very own Tom Pellicer reported yesterday that there is no new deal on the horizon at this point, with full asterisks, at this point for the 20-year NFL veteran. Brady turns, by the way, 42 August 4th, Ooh. I believe, early August. There'll be ice cream, there'll be baby goats, there'll be fans. <laughs> Could 2019 be Tom's last season? Kyle. I'm going to say no. I think he gets off on this stuff. I do. 42 years old, you, you learn what gets you going. For him, it's just playing what? longer and better than ever before. I mean, literally, his docuseries was Tom versus Time. It's his thing. There's a moment in where he's throwing the ball around, and he says, you know, other guys my age, they're sore, and they can't do it. And he's like, I can still rip that bleeper bleeper. That's his <laughs> quote. I think he is going to play whether he wins the Super Bowl, whether they don't make the playoffs. It's his thing now. How long can I keep this thing going? And the way he's playing, why should he retire? No. I'm going to say no also. He said he wants to play till he's 45. He'll play to 45, and I think he'll still be at a high level at 45. What he does with his body, I think, is is revolutionary and groundbreaking at that age. And right behind him are guys like Breeze, Rivers, and Roethlisberger who are still performing at a high level. It's just a different time for quarterbacks. I don't think we've seen the last of Tom Brady. I think he still has at least two or three good years left. Before you answer, I will say, no, this is unprecedented. At 42, no quarterback has started a full season. Ward Moon holds the contract at 10 starts yep. at that age. So yes or no that this could be his last year? Could is the key word. Yeah. This could be his last season, so I'm going <laughs> to say yes. Um, what I saw on film last year from Tom Brady was he started seeing some ghosts in the pocket. You think? For the first time got? that I have seen in a while, in a long time, that Tom Brady getting a little skittish in the pocket. His deep ball accuracy was just a little off. And look, oh, oh, guys, I'm, I'm comparing him to himself, like do the it, goat, right? like no, the, the, the best. Don't uh, apologize possible. for it. It's a heavy lift. Saying? But I, I do think this could be, especially without Rob Gronkowski, without some of the some of the weapons he's accustomed to having. If he can win the Super Bowl this year, I can see Tom Brady riding out in the sunset and just. Ooh. calling him. 
we'll see how that shakes out. I like that you brought up what he's like in the pocket. I'm going to talk about their offensive line being okay. something I'm really intrigued and almost concerned about a little bit later in the show. Broncos GM and former quarterback John Elway had a chance to reminisce for a bit with our very own TD at Broncos training camp. Check out one of Elway's favorite moments of his old teammate. This, I, well, I'm just telling you, this, right, this never break. gets old. <laughs> this never gets old. And when he gets uh, absolutely goes down. Favorite videos of all time? This is, no, this is by far my favorite <laughs> video of all time. And the one that I've actually uh, <laughs> got the wake most. Wake up. You got the most laughs of it, but we're so glad he came back. <laughs> so glad he came back. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, you've never seen. I know he's not driving. He's, he's a co-piloting it. He passes he out. Passes out completely. Okay. <laughs> so the question is, could woulda shoulda would, and I'll answer first. Yeah. To lead the way. <laughs> would any of you take a ride in a fighter jet? Absolutely. There's no better place to be. I feel like it's the safest sort of way to experience a level of exhilaration. It's mm. not Bob's fighter jet no, out like in the burbs somewhere this is like legit stuff they offered this to i think us as a crew before the super bowl but it had to go to an air base so we would have missed half the super bowl and i don't want to do that ah. but otherwise sign me up like call me yeah I, I will i will definitely do it and you know it's it's funny to laugh at td until he's going in the super bowl with a migraine and can't see and is winning you a ring after you've failed several <laughs> times several times and then when you another one so you know the joke's on td how yeah. i passed out that one was for john yeah exactly this one's for td <laughs> uh the answer is no uh, you know, the good man above put us on this earth to walk the earth. I'm not going anywhere in the sky like that. Peter, a very religious I man. I don't, I don't skydive. I don't scuba dive. I don't do anything. I'm walking and I'm going at a slow pace because that's just what no I'm doing. No diving of any kind? Is, no, no Is diving. there a person that could get you to no. do it? There's not a no. person on earth. There's not a monetary value. There's not a no. person. The military, those guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. Maverick, all them, they're great. I, that's not me. Yeah, I'm going to say no. I, I, I did some skydiving before. I threw up on myself. Oh. All of those things. I do have video. I will find it. Um, no. Hell no. Yeah. Uh, hell no. Mike, that's good, dude. Sorry. All right. There we have it. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Did you guys see this? Hmm. Listen, there are lies being told about this man. An absolute Baby. specimen Whew. of a human being. Those arms are Saquon's quads. Yeah. Like, that is unbelievable. We got a stock image of He-Man? Are they going to uh, sue? Uh, and a Sister Christian pun, too. Hey. And... Motor in. Did Carson Wentz really need to fall 93 spots in the NFL's top 100? Seems a little harsh, doesn't it? Mm. His return is not a question of if, but... A matter of whence. It was right there on the screen, you guys. Come on. I can only throw the alley. I'm rusty.